Pastor George Borkard, and this is another Higher Things video short. Two verses of Philemon that will literally change the way you see the universe. That's the subject of today's Higher Things video short. Like, subscribe, ring the bell, get the app, donate. If you love our videos, like our videos, subscribe to our YouTube channel, ring the bell for notifications, get the app, it's on iTunes, Google Play, and Apple and Amazon, and donate. Your tax deductible gift keeps Higher Things, a youth organization all about passing the faith to the next generation, keeps us a rolling. And we need your gifts in these dark times. Let this verse ruminate in your brain. Philemon 15 and 16. Because of this, or for this, possibly he was separated um, for, a, for an hour, for a time, uh, that you might have him back forever. No longer as a bond servant or slave, but more than a slave, as a beloved brother, a, um, especially to me. How great, moreover, also to you in the flesh and in the Lord. I thought we were done, Thor, but we're not. So let's rock and roll play. So think about this. Remember, Philemon fled. Philemon was the slave owner who owned Onesimus. Onesimus fled, and Paul ran into him along the way. Nice catch off my shoulder. Philemon then is sent back Onesimus from Paul because Paul didn't want to do anything. By force, he didn't want to do anything by compulsion, because then Philemon would lose the gift. So Anisimus has been separated from Paul, which is, an, which is a crime. He fled. But Paul's take on it is, wait a minute. If we want to see what God's doing, all we need to do is see it in context of not you, but your neighbor. You were separated from Anisimus for a time, so that you would be with him forever, so that he would hear the gospel. This happened so that you would, he would, you would gain back more than a slave, but a brother, a beloved brother, and not just for a time, but forever. You have in there what we talked about last week, video right there, about how... Christianity and slavery, they don't go together. Christianity, if you listen to its message, ends slavery because it turns the kingdom upside down and it teaches love that sets people free. But more than that, look at the way that Paul communicates to Philemon. This bad thing of of, of Onesimus fleeing from you, this sin that occurred is actually for your good. God is using, ha, has used it in order to save Onesimus, who was useless to you as a slave, but now is useful to both you and me. And now you're going to get back more than a slave. No, you're going to get a brother back, a beloved brother, both in the flesh and in the Lord, someone who is useful to you and to me. You can see that Paul is pushing for Onesimus to be free, but more than that, he's trying to show Philemon that God takes the evil that befalls us in life and makes it good. He turns the happy into happier and the sad into okay so that he can turn the okay into happy and the happy into great. God works out all things for good in those who love him, even when something is taken from us. God is working through it and in it, in, and in it to save. And there also is another life-changing observation that it's not only about you, it's about your neighbor too. 
It's not only about the sadness. Look at the guy giving me five. Can I have kisses? Can I have kisses? No kisses? Really? Want this? Give me a smooch right here. Give me smooches. Oh, right there. It's life changing for someone else. So the next time something bad happens, ask yourself, what's God working in this? How's God working this out for good? What's he up to? And when you can't figure it out, it's about you. That's great because it may not be about you. What's he trying to do for other people? How's he trying to save them? And this will not only help you in bad times, but also help you to see that salvation and faith and all of that. Is there one in there? There it is, one in there. He's all about others too. God just doesn't want to save you. He wants to save others. He doesn't want to just do good to you. He wants to do good to those around you too. In your family, in your workplace, even the sin of something being separated from you works out for good. And God sees what's going on with Philemon, teaching him to love his neighbor and then eventually to love Onesimus so much that he sets him free, which is the very thing I think God was doing in all of this, to save Philemon, to save Philemon's family, to save Onesimus, to save Paul. And later on, there's a bishop in the early church named Onesimus to save those people that Onesimus serves. I'm Pastor George Borkhart. And Thor, can I have five? Five. Oh, look at this guy. He loves me. Pastor Borkhart and Thor. And this has been another Higher Things video. Short.